Hi everyone, it's Madeline here. If you are an empath in this world, more than likely you have a pretty hard time being in this world, particularly right now. It seems like every time you talk to someone, every time you turn on the TV, there's unending drama and conflict and even war and natural disasters. And it doesn't look like this is gonna stop in the foreseeable future. So when you have live in an open nervous system like I do, and like all of the women and the hundreds of women that I've worked with over time, it's really, really important to know a few things about being in the world before you develop chronic pain, chronic conditions, chronic fatigue, just from being continually overstimulated with no gates. And it's this, you've probably tried already to set boundaries. How has that worked for you? That has been the continual um, advice giving to em given to empaths. And I'm not saying the boundaries aren't important, but when you block something out, it creates a tension in your body of resistance. Does that mean you take it all in? No, but there are a few steps to take before that. And then the boundaries almost set themselves. So here's one thing to start practicing. Start being more in your body. Start being more in your breath and in your feet. Because when you start in small ways to actually inhabit your own nervous system, you start to notice, because you're an empath, you start to pick up on things that you may have overridden before, whether it's emotions or tension. And so before you even get to the point of having to set a boundary or being overstimulated, you've already noticed and from there, you make choices about where to focus your energy and your attention. Because wherever your focus is, that's where your energy goes. So try it. Let me know how it goes. Or download my empath practice for self-trust and shielding. I'll leave it in the link in my bio. And let's get well. Let's get balanced so you can be in this world and help at the level that you are intended to.